I am busy thinking about trees and planets and holes in the sky. I am sure there is a big hole above our house because my sister Marcy uses too much hairspray and is causing pollution. No ideas are coming into my head for a project. My mind is a blanket. So I go upstairs and read my comics with the vests and pants in the airing cupboard. Dad says, if it's nature you are after, you should have a peek in Kurt's bedroom. It's a regular safari in there. I am reading away when I hear a commotion. It's coming from the kitchen, so I scriggle down to see what's going on. What's happened is, my brother Kurt has rushed in, and I cannot, and I can see straight away that he's not normal because he is running. He never runs. He is flapping the local newspaper about. Dad says, what on earth has got into him? Mum says, it's his hormones. They're playing havoc at the moment. Hormones are things which buzz about in your body, making you find your family embarrassing and causing pimples. The paper says, tree to be chopped down in Navarino Street. It's a really nice tree too, and it is maybe even at least a hundred years old. Kurt says, I won't have any dinner because I'm too depressed to chew. Grandad switches off the television, so of course we know he's upset. So even though that was a really short part of the story, there was loads of new vocabulary in there and I want us to unpick some of it now. So the first word is pollution. Now pollution we've spoken about before, uh, but it was a while ago. Pollution means to put something harmful or poisonous into the environment. So that could be pollution from smoke or from an oil spill. We talk about noise pollution, so anything that's too noisy can become harmful for the environment that it's in. Now, the word commotion refers to a lot of noise, so causing a commotion would mean making lots of noise. The word havoc is another word for kind of trouble or mischief. We often ask Ebby, our dog, where she's off to, and someone will say, probably off to cause havoc somewhere, cause mischief and trouble. The word pimple is a word for a spot often on your face. Lots of people like to squeeze pimples. Now, the final word, depressed, I think we've also spoken about before. If you're depressed, it means you're extremely, extremely sad and low with not much energy for a really long time normally.